first of all, how was the summer? Um, it was good. It was new, f- new family member? Yes. How are you adjusting to that? It was good. Perfect. No problem at all. Like, uh, the little one is, is pretty good. <laughs> nice. Um, with the events that happened, uh, Kyle's here. John Lucas III is here. And you know John from the last time he was here a little bit. What's going through your mind about, you know, the, all this stuff? Am I going to be here? Am I not going to be here? I mean, this is the only NBA place you've ever known. Mm-hmm. What, what's, what's with your thinking right uh, now? Well, a lot of thinking about it. You know, uh, it was tough. Uh, like I said, it was a lot of stuff during the summer. What happened? Uh, a lot of people saying things. I, I never say anything. And, and I think people know me. I'm really happy here in Toronto. This is my city. Uh, I was in the good moments. I was in the bad moments for sure. But uh, I think there is some um, business. You know, uh, there is some business that we still got to do, and it's win games for Raptors and be back in the playoffs. So, so it was hard. It was a little bit hard. I think people were uh, thinking about me. Um, what hurt me a little bit more was people were thinking about I want it out of here because I'm not going to be a starting point guard or something like that. I think uh, in this seventh year I proved like uh, the team is always first. Uh, and I'm, I'm not the guy, I never said that, and I'm never going to say if I'm not a starter, I'm not going to be here. You know, everybody gets old, you cannot be a star in the, uh, the whole, uh, uh, every time, every year you play in the NBA, but uh, I think, you know, it was some, you know, maybe the parts uh, were a little bit. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, no, not the right uh, things to say, and uh, sometimes when you've been here for so long, you maybe need a little bit more love than maybe that you got sometimes, but that happened everywhere. So it was just more than that about anything else, but like I said, I'm always happy here. I don't know what's going to happen during the season, or I don't know what's going to happen in uh, minutes, right. uh, but you know, I'm here like a, them, right? I maybe was here. I've been, I've been like that for seven years. This is going to be my eight. This is nothing different. It's just a uh, uh, new guys uh, always uh, going to come, and we're trying to get the team better. That's what we want to to get to the playoffs pass. So you don't expect to get uh, uh, five starters, and after the rest, uh, you know, high school kids. So they cannot. It doesn't make any sense. So this is good. Have you or Brian, uh, your agent, actually talked to Brian and said? What's what's the plan for me? What's you know? Do I expect to be here? What's what what's in the works? Uh, I think it was. That's why I'm saying sometimes it was everything went out of context. Sometimes I think the, when uh, the trade of Kyle happens, uh, I think it was more about okay, well, so that that means Jose is gone or or what is your plans? More like anything else. That's why I was surprised about that, but. Uh, at the end of the day, like I say, I was here with TJ or with Jared Jack or with uh, Jared Bailey's, and it happens every year. Every year, uh, people like to talk about the point guard position. So it's what it is, uh, and I'm good with that. I'm, like, like I say, it's been like that for my whole career. Uh, there is people who like the way I play. There is people who don't, and uh, you cannot be, uh, you know, you don't gonna be or make everybody happy because of that. You just try to do your best, and um, but I always the, the one thing I, I try to to do every time, every time. That's if I'm here with the national team or with Spain, is I want to win for my team. So I want to do always the best I can to, to win games. Um, it doesn't matter who I play with or who I got to compete against. I think I got to compete against other players in other teams more than uh, our team. Our team should be together and, uh, and play for, uh, for win games. Thinking about the team, last year was, a, was a, a tough year, I mean, for wins. I mean, the team improved, it got better. You look at the squad this year. And, and we're going to assume that you're here. This is, you know, you're still part of this team. When you look at the young guys coming in and the new people that have come in, what do you see for this team this year? Well, I think, like you say, I think we've been in the playoffs. Yeah. You, you, you know what it takes to get there. You look at these yeah. guys. What do you? Think no, I think we get better last year. You know, we were better last year. I think we changed the mentality a little bit. I think we go out now and and people respect us a little bit more. I think we compete against everybody last year. Um, maybe didn't happen a few years ago. Uh, I think that's the maybe the change of mentality, whatever, the, where the coach brought us here. But it was good. I think everybody was in the same page. We knew what we have to do. And it just should be a little bit easier. There is seven or so eight guys who already knew or know the system. Yeah. So it's going to be easier to get everything back to, you know, to the way a coach wanted. But after, it's like, I think we're adding talent to a really improving team. I think our young guys are better. Demar and, and Eddie and Amir and all these guys are getting better. Plus, we got some talent, you know, with uh, Kyle and Landry and, and Valenciunas is coming and, and T. Rose and all the guys. So I think it's, I think we get deeper than last year. I think we got more players who really can play uh, or really can 
can help the team in any moment in, in this team and I like that there is no only a eight guys rotation I think in this team it could be much much longer so I think that's good that, that makes you better because there's always some injuries some issues it can mm-hmm. hold you down I think with the guys we got there is a lot of guys who really uh, can help so uh, I'm really optimistic about it I think we we get the the right uh, you know chemistry the, the right uh, you know, feeling the good feeling with everybody in the same place, and and um, have uh, known their roles a little bit, and everybody's happy with that. I think we we will be right. We can win a lot of games. How much do you talk to the young guys? You think about the new guys, the young guys coming in, Terrence, Quincy, Jonas, who's an international player, uh, especially Jonas. How much have you talked to him about? Hey, this is what it's like in the NBA. This is this is what you need to expect. It's different from the international game. The culture is different. How much have you talked to him well, about that? I, I talked to him a little bit more than Terrence or Quincy because I didn't. I almost have no time to to talk to to the other two. Uh, or they they got a, They need some time to start uh, knowing. You know, uh, right, like right. for example, like I got a really a good relationship with Eddie or Amir or, or Demar, and we talk a lot about basketball, and they've been asking me a lot, and uh, I try to. Help you know, uh, then because I was in that situation before. Um, with Jonas a little bit more because I play against him, you know, and a lot of times with uh, with Lithuania and Spain. So uh, it's good. He always asks, and he's a guy who really likes to work. And uh, he'd be right. I think he's the guy who's gonna have to slow him down sometime because he's always trying to do a good things for the team. So that's uh, that's the one, the, the, the kind of guy you wanna have with you. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll talk through. We got Linus as well to to help him out. So it's being okay. Yeah, yeah he'll be he'll be right.